Welcome, welcome. I'm Dee, and it's a single mom and got a life where I try to navigate through finances, motherhood, being single, and everything in between. And I bring you guys along for the journey to hold me accountable. It is that time again. You know that time when we tell our money what to do before it tell us what to do. And I got something on my wallet. We also going to do our cashless and little stuffing and I got a special surprise in here to show you. <laughs> and so let's go ahead and get everything situated. So um, we're going to pull out our income breakdown worksheet. This is a worksheet I created for myself and my household that works for us. So I always got to flip that up. Let's get our pen of choice, which is purple. And today's date is 5 7 20, 21. Okay. So for paychecks, so the amount that hit my bank account from my paychecks I received to was $1,869. And 32 cents. This included my regular paycheck from my employer and the stipend. I will not be pulling anything out of savings. But I did get a question. So anytime I take money from a sinking fund or my savings account to go to it towards any expense that's listed down here, I reflect it up here as income because I am gaining it into this checking account. It needs to be accounted for where it's coming from and where it's going to. So oftentimes, and Papa gets on me <laughs> all the time about this, I think that I'm seeing it, but I forget. So just to let you know, that's exactly what I mean by savings, what I'm pulling from out of my savings and or a sinking fund to cover a listed expense down here. Okay. So rollover was a total of 117.87. Bonus, I received a total of $253.75. That includes the money that Papa sends for his phone and portion of the insurance. And I did receive um, child support. So that's what's included there. So let's go ahead and add this all up and see what we actually working with this income breakdown. So $2,240.94. So let's go ahead and put that down here. Okay, let's move that up. Give me a little bit more space. So we have our streaming and it's probably best that I pull out my monthly budget sheet. So, cause even though I know the date, sometimes they, they change. So, I need to make sure I have this in sight. And then car registration is miscellaneous as well, and it's one sixty-two twenty. All right, Woo. we done with that. We done with that, and I don't have my highlighter so i'll be back all right so we need this because we need to know what bills actually is going to be placed on my credit card and what bills are actually going to come out of my account so streaming will be charged to my credit card life insurance storage cable phone bill onstar and that's in the car hmm in a car registration. At first I wasn't for sure, and I'm gonna highlight it here, but I decided I'm gonna put it on my credit card um, first before I actually pay that off. So that's what we have here. Let's go ahead and we're going to total up only the items that's not highlighted. <music> That is $886.25. Then we'll go over here to our envelope system and we're going to send $25 to fund money. 
We're just going to send 60 this time to gas. Groceries, 160. Household, still zero. Personal, 80. And restaurants, 25. Let's total that up. So that's 350. Then we're going to make our way to our sinking funds down here. We're not going to send anything to car maintenance, 50 for gifts. Nothing to health, $8 to miscellaneous, $150 to papa, nothing to property, travel, or bill carryover. So that is $58,208. So $208. So let's go ahead and we're going to calculate what we have after each section. <music> And 69 cent. We're not sending anything extra to debt. Now, for the savings, what we'll be sending is actually that $28 that's for our challenge. So I'm going to send that. And additionally, I have a note here $22.44 goes to credit card buff. So I made a mistake when I paid the credit card bill. I paid $288.19, but that was not the complete charges. Um, $2 and I think 54 cent or something like that was actually, or $2.44 was actually the fee that is charged for the insurance that I have on a credit card. So that should have not taken it. I should have taken that account when I actually set this up to ensure that the $2.44 came from somewhere else and not the credit card checking account. So I have to put that back because that makes the amount that's remaining in the checking account off um, as well as $20. I did go to the and. I was going to have groceries up to 180, but $20 of that needs to go to the credit card because I picked up a honey um, from my farmer's market. So I need to account and make sure that I'm taking that additional $22.44 to go towards the checking buffer, the credit card checking account. Okay. So we have $796.69 remaining. I'm just going to turn it just a little. So we already know that 400, well, we don't know. So 14, let me calculate everything that's highlighted. Okay, so $428.88 is has to go to my credit card checking account plus the $22.44. So for the... Credit card checking account, $451.32 will be sent there. So let's minus that from $769.69. Oh, that's $796.69 minus $451.32. Why do I feel like that is so off? Oh, it's off because that's not right. It's not right. It is not right. Let me go back. Let me go back here. Hmm, it was too good to be true. I was just doing too well. So seven ninety six sixty nine minus twenty eight. So that's seven sixty eight sixty nine minus four fifty one thirty two. Okay. So that actually leaves me with $317.37 that goes in the buffer. Let me add $451.32. This is what's remaining. So I, I put that there. So if I confuse you, let's start over. So the remaining was $796.69. Nothing from debt, nothing for savings. So I mean 28 for savings. So that leaves me with $768.69. So that goes here. But this is actually split up between 
the expenses that are charged to my credit card in the buffer. So the amount total for the current charges is $428.88. I have to add $22.44 to this to make this account correct. So when I start to make the payments to the card, I have enough. So that's 451.32. When I minus that from the 768, that gives me $317.37 that goes into the buffer at this point. So nothing goes additional, no additional savings up into this point because we're we haven't reached the end of the month. So I hope I didn't confuse you and we're on track. If um let me see. What I want to do next. Hmm. Let's go ahead and do the cashless stuffing. So these are the envelopes that I use for my cashless stuffing. This is the wallet that I hold them in. This is a Solite wallet that I purchased from Amazon. And so these are the envelopes that came with them as well as these are the budget sheets. So I've already zeroed out everything. So week three. We're going to do a deposit. Did I do that? Okay. So let's set that to the side. And what I wanted to show you is two things. The first thing is I got some new envelopes. Okay. So I purchased these envelopes from Freeport Creation. And we had a little trouble it getting here, but finally it did come. And I'm so happy that they fit in here. And so I just get on the ones that was my category. So I got fun money, gas, personal, restaurants, groceries, household. And then she did send me a dollar challenge one. What I'm going to be doing with these lovely envelopes and we're actually going to be doing like a faux cash stuff and when i return so you won't see these again <laughs> um well you may see them no i don't think you will see it. no you're not gonna see them again you're not gonna because this is the last cashless envelope stuffing um before my hiatus so yes i just wanted to show you so you'll know exactly what to expect when i return because i'm gonna do this faux cash stuff and see how it works out the weekly check-in I'm, I'm liking and it's really working. So I don't know if I really need to do this extra step to stay on track, but we will see. Okay. So the next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to talk about what happens behind the scenes. So what happens after I close out and now I need to tell my money where to go. Okay. At first, I, I we would like to tell our money what to do before they tell us what to do. But now... We didn't tell it what to do. We got to tell it where to go. And how I have been doing that, and I'm going to use this, is I separate every, everything. So I did get a question from Jane Jane Budgets because I refer to the accounts as if they're these special accounts that created, but I'm just giving them names because it's easy for me to remember. So what happens is I have three sources of income. I have my main income, I have my stipend, and I have my side income, okay? Of my main income, I break that down in two checking accounts. So let's call them checking account one and checking account two. My stipend is also sent to checking account one, and my side income is actually sent to checking account three. I make this separate from anything else because this account, income is usually geared towards other things and we'll discuss that shortly okay so let's talk about the expenses so just like what we did with the expense tracker and the envelope system after I, all money is accounted for in in the accounts we have to consider about what to do with the expenses so i have first what i refer to as my regular expenses which is the expenses that's usually listed under here. And that is actually broken down in two checking accounts. The first one is checking account one. 
and then the other is checking account four. Now, checking account one, I often refer to as my monthly bill account. Checking account four, I often refer to that as my credit card account, okay? So any expense that is going to be charged on my credit card, the money is transferred to this checking account. So when I go to make payments, I can just pull from this account knowing that that money is in there for these expenses. So I hope that helped clear up some confusion. Now here I went further in, into explanation of my process, which involves six checking accounts, multiple savings accounts, <laughs> prepaid card. But I just wanted to explain my process and the reason why I do what I do and it helps me. So if you see anything and you have a question about, definitely leave it below and let me know and I'll explain further. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to be part of my village. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button to all my returning subscribers. Thank you. Everyone hit that thumbs up and please share this with your family, your friends, and your co-workers. Peace out.